everybody and welcome back to Little Bird Live. It's been a while since we did a video and we thought it would be nice to show all of the dollies that we've got up and about in one go on this shelf. My daughter's here today and some of her dolls are there on the right hand side of the screen. Some of them, all of them. <laughs> uh, but we do have a couple still in boxes because they're sort of in partial um, customization mode and things like that. Yeah. So we're missing the pull-ups. And, and one of the boys, so there's only yeah. one boy up right now called Jack. He's a bird of a cheeky kid. He is know. a bit of a cheeky kid, isn't he? Yes. He's a prankster and a jokester, mm -hmm. I think. That's why he's sitting on his own, I think. The girls are keeping a, a wide berth, aren't they? I mean, he has a camel and a basketball, so yeah. it's pretty, pretty strange. He just wants to play, though. <laughs> so if we just go from the top top left to the right and then, and then next row then next row left to right we'll tell Thank you, you guys. yeah we'll tell you which each doll is and what they're called some of them don't have names so if you've got any suggestions then we're happy to hear them so top row we have the first doll is a petite apple custom and her name is Seren then we have Autumn with the beautiful red hair I was going to change her scalp but I've actually decided not to now even though she has a terrible fringe I really love that colour of hair, so until I can find some natural hair that's the same colour and length, I'm going to keep her as she is. So it's I'll, still I'll really nice and it goes with the yellow really well. It does. I think we just need to keep hats and headbands on her to hide that awful fringe. But she's almost like a, a little kid who cut her own fringe, you know, it looks awful, it's got to grow out. <laughs> um, and next to Autumn is Angela and she's actually an Icy Blythe custom. I'll just move the camera back a little bit, you can see she's got a little bobble on the top of her hat. Um, so the next doll along on that same shelf is the one with the bunny ears and <laughs> yeah, she's really cute. Her name is Amy and she's got a beautiful wide toothy grin and pink, she's adorable. pink crazy hair. She is adorable, she's lovely. And the fact that there's so many gaps between the teeth, I feel like she's one of those people who if they lost a tooth they're just they they'd point it out all the time. She would, yeah. And I think she's um, very good friends with Jack, so really she should, probably should be down there with Jack. Very but... similar personalities by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll play together later. And then next to her is one of the candy girls, um, and she's called Mary. She's got beautiful natural mohair. And then next to her is one sweetie doll custom, but she doesn't ha actually have a name yet. So we, she might be called she might be called princess because she's got a little princess crown on. Well, something to do with a princess. Yeah, she's. Um, I think she'd like to be called princess. Um, and then the next one again is one of the candy girls, and her name is Sky. And then next to her is our only chubby Blythe doll, and her name's Arabella. And then next to her is Mila Grace. So the second row, next row down, starting from the left to the right, is Laura and she's a Miss Little Blythe. Then it's Mia and I think she's a Plisky Tricks doll. Uh, after her is Josephine and she's a Tara doll, I think, so we could call her Jo. And she's got her doggy with her at the moment. Uh, and then sitting down in uh, all on his own with his ball and his toy, is Jack and then next to Jack we have a doll that's still waiting to have her scalp changed because I have a beautiful scalp for her but I haven't changed it yet and she doesn't have a name and then there's a very shy little girl in the corner and she doesn't have a name either and she's holding the most adorable teddy bear in the entire universe she is adorable as well she's so cute okay so yes yeah apart from Teddington Teddington's the cutest bear in town Okay, next row down, we've got, um, starting on the left-hand side, is Winter, and she's got very light white hair. Then we have got um, Isabel, um, and she's got very light white hair as well. She's got a little hat on her nose. She's very starey, that she doll just, is. She just reminds me of a lamb in a way. Yeah, she's very soft looking, but she always looks slightly startled, doesn't she? She's yeah. very cute. She looks very delicate in a way. Yeah. Um, quite vintagey, I think she is. Shy and quiet. Very, yeah. 
Um, and then next up we've got the spooky girl. So we've got um, vampire. She doesn't actually have a name, but she's a vampire. And then we have pumpkin spice next to her in her little witch's outfit. And then in the next section on the right hand side, we have got all of my daughter's dolls. Yes. So we've got Lily with a beautiful sort of lilac-y purple hair and beautiful eyes. And a beautiful pastel kind of coloured dress. I just love it. It's so cute. It is beautiful, isn't it? A unicorn dress, isn't it, that one? Then we have Rosie. Then we have Robin. Then we have Toshi, which is actually named after my mm. daughter. <laughs> and then we have Laura. Uh, and she's actually a Tangu doll. Um, so she's not an actual bride, but we did decide to include some of the alternative dolls that we've got as well because they're similar. And for the record, we do know that there's already a doll named Laura, but you know, that's all right. It's a relatively popular name, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so on the bottom, it's a little bit dark in that corner, but that is Maya in the corner um, with a beautiful green scarf on. And next to her is Freya, and Freya is... Oh, what is she? She's a, I did write this down, she's a Blythe Door, I think. Yes, Blythe Door. And she's absolutely gorgeous, but her hair's a right mess at the moment. She's got um, sort of natural hair, but it's all sticking up, so she's wearing her hat. Uh, then the doll after that has no name. She's got the most beautiful hair, um, but she doesn't have any name. But she's quite a cheeky looking little girl, um, and she's wearing a lovely dress. Uh, so we'll have to come up with a name for her. Suggestions in the comments, please. And next to that doll is my very first custom Blythe, and her name is Red. And she's very, very beautiful. She's got an absolutely stunning little face. Um, and then in the corners, so, because she's very, very shy, very vintagey looking, she's come from France, and her name is actually Beatrice. Um, and the last section on the right-hand side, bottom row, these are not Blythe. They look quite similar to Pullips, but they're not Pullips. These are inexpensive, sort of normal store type dolls. And they're called Shibajuku dolls, I believe. Uh, we did do an unboxing a couple of yes. years ago, didn't we? And um, we just was um, randomly in a shop and then we just saw them and we were like, Destiny! And we couldn't help ourselves, so we kind of got all free. Um, yeah. Yeah. We bought them all because we thought they were cute. Um, so they're called, and I don't know whether this is the right order, but one's Boko, one's Suki, and one's Shizuka. So that's all of them there. So I'm going to do, I'll try and do a little bit of a zoom in so you can see the dolls. Uh, and then if I zoom in, I hope this will work. I don't want to make you feel sick, but I'm just going to take that up so you can see them. So there we have the top row. Aren't they? And the candy girl. Beautiful, yes, the candy girl. Looks like Mary's looking at Princess's um, hat there, isn't she? Looking, it's like, is that going to fall off? Or do I want one of those? There we go, and there's Sky looking at it as well. Oh wow, they're so pretty, aren't they? It's such a lovely thing to have them all out because this is the first time we've ever had them all out. So we thought it would make a nice video to show everybody. So our first video back for a couple of years. A stunning little face. And there's Winter. She needs some customization really, but um, she's think... still gorgeous. She's though. gorgeous. She's beautiful eyes. Isn't and she? I really think she suits the white jumper and the socks. It just feels yeah. like it. It's her aesthetic in a way. Yeah. Very simple, minimalist. And they're the spooky girls dressed for Halloween, but you're actually going to do a dolly dress up, aren't you, for me? Halloween special! And these are my daughter's dolls, and then the Shibajuku dolls in the bottom, and just moving across. There's red over there in a nice casual outfit. Yeah, that's actually um, a vintage Cindy. Uh, the, what's the boyfriend of Cindy Paul, is it? It's a vintage boy doll jumper that she's wearing. Yeah. There's Beatrice in the corner hiding because she's really shy. But Red wanted to sit next to her so that she felt comfortable. And there we go on to the other girls. So a name for that one, I think. And then we've got Freya and Maya. 
in the corner. So that's it, that's the lot. So I'll put this down and zoom out again. That works. And, and that's it then. So that's all for today. So thanks for joining us. And we will see you very soon yes. for a dolly dress up. And we video. won't leave for several years again, will we? Well, hopefully not, but we've certainly we've got our love of dolls back again, haven't we? And I'll I'll explain a little bit. Love dolls. Yes. <laughs> I'll explain a little bit why we stopped filming, maybe in a few videos. But but anyway, thanks very much for joining us. Bye for now, and we'll see you soon. Oh, don't forget a thumbs up. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. Out of all of our dollies, which one is your favourite? Write it in the comment section down below.